It's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to meet the Muppets on the Muppet Show tonight. Good morning. Our friend Kyle's coming to stay for the week with us on Wednesday. Today's Monday. We have a lot of cleaning to do today. Also, look at this. I'll back up really slowly. I finally put up the wavy mirror and the other things. We still haven't um, put the doors on the pink thing, but we're going to do that today. As far as beginning, like where we're starting today, it's actually not that bad because I did some cleaning yesterday. So today is a lot of projects, essentially. Yeah. We have to clean the nursery, which like... That needs to be a theme. Project. Right. It's that. Yeah, there's also I'm about to rearrange all, like all the plants in there because I got a new table that's like in the middle of nowhere right now. Phoebe has a lot of art projects on the table, so we can't okay. have breakfast there. Well, no, hold on. No, but it'll get fixed. It will get fixed. And then I need space to create. I <laughs> I also want to paint at least this like side, this right side yeah. built in. Um that would be great, and I think that's accomplishable. Doing all of it is probably not accomplishable. Can you show them the dad chairs? I'm about to. Um, then, if we go this way, this is a new chair. Yay! Um, Phoebe's dad, like, I don't know if they were closing one of their buildings, or I have no idea, but no, this chair was... a warehouse sale that they have, like, every whatever. Maybe they got new chairs, I don't know. This chair was $5. We actually got two of them. It's perfect for me. Look at this. Yeah. And it's nice. And then what happened is, I'll film it, but I moved the square chair that we bought into the corner of our bedroom. Yes. <laughs> and it's my reading chair at night. Yes. Which is nice. Um, we got two of these. I don't know if after we clean the second one, if I'll put it here and then move this somewhere so that we have like two matching chairs next to each other. Or if I'll leave it. I don't know. But I'm very excited. You can never have too many chairs. You're going to get rid of yellow chairs? I'm not getting rid of it. Oh, my God. When our couch that we are getting gets here. I'm going to see if the yellow chair will fit like next to it kind of. Oh, okay. And then we'll have two matching chairs. Okay. Because I thought the point of these chairs is that they're easy to move. That's and true. The yellow chair is not easy to move. No. We'll see. Um, but yeah. I'll, I'm going to write down a to-do list and film it. So that everyone knows all the things we have to do today. Look at our fruit wall. It's so freaking cute. Okay. This is where we're starting with like the plant desk wall area. I'm moving this air conditioner to the nursery because we're not using it right now and it's in our way. And I think this cute little corner is a perfect place where Kyle could put their suitcase. I also put the sheets for the bed and the wash. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna move all of these out, vacuum underneath them and then move this table in and rearrange so that I can fit more plants over there. I'm also gonna dust the mirror. Phoebe's working on the last vlog <laughs> that we haven't published yet. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, after like an hour and a half <laughs> and getting way too hot, um, this part is done. Look how nice it looks with the different table. Um, I also cleaned, this is wrong. Kyle gets here in two days. Um, I also vacuumed this part. I still have to vacuum a lot. We are still washing the sheets, so they're not done. Um, but everything's been, like, reorganized and wiped up, and hopefully everyone likes their new spots. I also cleaned the stream area, so it would be ready for stream tomorrow, which is nice and exciting. And then what I have left is, um, I still have to do the rest of this room. Phoebe did hang their clothes up, which is nice. Hang Phoebe hung up their clothes, which is nice. We still have to clean this whole situation, which will be fine. And then um, we'll probably break for lunch, for a little lunch break. A little lunch break. Um, but getting some stuff done, that is good. I also have to clean up the top of Phoebe's desk. But that won't take long, so that's good. UPS is here. All right, Phoebe's cleaning the nursery. They forgot to film it before, but it's still pretty... It's pretty bad. In the middle. The um, desk was worse. But... Yeah, they did clean out the desk. Yeah. 
which is nice, and put the trampoline in the corner. Yeah. Um, I did a couple of things. Yeah. Okay. And now they're working on going through their yarn. And I imagine putting everything back in the closet where it goes. That's a little red cow. And they found a little red cow. And then we're about to have a little lunch break, I thinky. Yep. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, hello, I'm Phoebe. This is what the room looks like now. I vacuumed, um, it looks nice. Uh, it's not perfect. This is very much an unfinished projects room though. So like, I don't feel bad that we've got some unfinished projects here. So, you know, that's what's happening. This was a stay at home, go nowhere, only clean the house day, which we have now adjusted to make it a, do a bunch of small errands additionally. Day. Yeah, well, not all of them, but some. Hang on, but let me get the cross out part of the list. Is it still good? Is what's so good? Oh, the usually it goes blurry. Oh yeah, no, it's not blurry because it tracked you the whole time. Oh nice. Okay, so these are the things. Look at all the things we've crossed off. Yeah, we got a lot of things done. I have to do dishes tonight. We also have to paint the right built-in. Phoebe's gonna clean out the car tomorrow, and then we're gonna take it through a car wash and vacuum place. Yeah. Um, Phoebe's gonna clean the bathroom tomorrow. I'm gonna put in the shower shelves shelves tomorrow. I think when we get back tonight, I can repot. It's not repotting. There's a couple of propagations I have to pot, but I didn't know what to say, so I just put repot. That makes sense. Um, Phoebe also has to sand the doors of the paint cabinet so that they'll close because somebody painted them and now they won't close. <laughs> we don't know who. We will never know. We'll never know. And right now we're headed to Bottle Drop and to the post office, which is not on the list, but it does need to get done because we've been in like two and a half weeks. Yes. Also behind Morgan, you can see the little apples coming out of Morgan's shoulders. And there's also the pear in the center. People keep asking us where those are from. They're thrifted. They're thrifted. They're thrifted from two separate places though, which is funny. Yeah. Well, one apple. The one last apple, apple. yeah. Was on her own. Yes. We put her with her sisters. Now she's with her sisters. Yeah. Hello. It took us an hour at Fred Meyer to get my progesterone. If you work at a pharmacy, I would like you to tell me what is taking so long. And I'm not like the people who I'm are not super mad. Nice. I just I don't literally think don't them. understand. I, yeah, I literally don't understand when you're going through the drive through at the pharmacy. Like, is it is it the people in lines fault? Because in theory, you should I only feel like it must be through the drive through. If you know that your prescription's ready. I feel like it must be the people in lines fault. As you soon know the information. As soon as I found out that they weren't actually making the pills and putting them into little capsules at the pharmacist, I was like, what the fuck is taking so long then? And it's yeah. gotta be user error. Like it's I'm sure it's not the pharmacist. No, but please but tell it's, us. Please. Because every time I'm like, okay, can't wait to sit in line for an hour. And like you would say, go in it's still an hour inside that's true like it's always like the same every yeah. time we've like been like well maybe we'll go in yeah so anyway but i was like oh my god they were taking like a solid like 15 minutes per car and like they didn't with us no so like i have to know what the other people in their cars are doing that's they, taking so they long. have to not be following the rules they must not be calling to get things made they must be like no i'll just sit here and wait for my medicine to be done i have no idea they must be but anyway it took us an hour then we went to bottle drop um, which I thought was going to be hard, but it was actually fine. It wasn't busy, yeah. which I'm so glad. It was like super, super Um, happy. we did find out that they do not accept our online exclusive hint waters. <laughs> so we didn't get, we missed out on like, I don't know, $2. Yeah. We put enough. those like in the recycling that's there. So yeah, like they're, they're, they're fine. Recycled. Yeah. Um, but we got $7. My plan is to try and like keep going to bottle drop like once a month and getting, cause you get 10 cents in Oregon for every bottle. Um, Which Morgan didn't have in Alabama, so no, when I tried to so cool. explain it to her, yeah, it's like a very like new, exciting thing for Morgan. I love it. Every time I'm like, this is free money, and Phoebe's like, it's not free money. We paid the deposit fee when we bought the bottles, but it's not. That price is included to me, so this is free money. Anyway, and it doesn't take very long when there's not a line, yeah. which is nice. So we did get seven dollars for doing that, and then now we're headed to the post office. We need to leave our city at like 4.45 to head to our sperm appointment, which is our last one of this month. So I think we'll just be out until that. We also did a pickup order for groceries that we're picking up after the sperm appointment. Yes. So we're getting a lot done while we're out, which is great. Yes. But Beeper, how bad do you think your mood's going to be by 8 p.m.? Oh, rancid. Yeah, that's still four hours of being out left. Yeah. But we are listening to El Dorado. 
whenever we have to be out all day, which I hate to do, it's a little present to me that Morgan either lets us listen to Harry's house just on repeat or like a soundtrack that I really enjoy. The last time it was Lion King the Musical on Broadway. That's true. Which is an excellent soundtrack. Right now we're listening to Road to El Dorado, which is also great. If you haven't seen Road to El Dorado, it's a wonderful movie. If you haven't seen it in a while, it's better than you remember, I think. That's true. The other thing, though, I would love to hear what... I don't know. I guess indigenous people, like indigenous South say, American people, feel indigenous South American. about Road to El Dorado. I, I, as a child and also presently, always have felt like and feel like the message, like the moral of the story, is that like the uh, the colonizers, colonizers are, are the bad shitty. Guys. Yeah. So like I they're very like clearly painted as the bad people. And then there's Miguel and Tulio who are just kind of like fun Spanish idiots, which is great. Like literally sp- Spanish, Spanish. Yeah, they're from Spain. Um, also, Tulio <coughs> is the same man who voices Mr. Fishouter, which is really fun. So that's something you can know. Yeah, and the other person's also famous. Yeah. I'll, we'll Google it in a second. And Everybody's going to laugh at me. Because no, because every time we do this, we go, yeah, one of them's Mr. Fischoder, and the other one is... I can see him in my head right now. I can see him. Calvin, it's not Calvin Klein, but it, Kevin Klein is the name of Mr. Fischoder. I can't think of who the other one is. He's a very famous man. He's very famous. He's not famous to me because I was born in 1996, but I feel like he's very famous to other people. Are you Googling it now? Yeah. She's illegally Googling while driving. Anyway, it's a really fucking fun movie, and you should watch it, and if you watch it at the same time... Oh, my God. Do you know where we're going right now? Uh, yeah. Well, oh, my God. We're continuing forward. Yeah. El Dorado. Miguel. Hold on. I'll just keep y'all on. I'm sure this is interesting vlog content. <laughs> Miguel voice. Uh, anyway, El Dorado made me gay because Chell, Kenneth Branagh? No, but when you click on him, he's the voice of someone else. What the fuck? This isn't who I thought it was. Sir Kenneth Charles Branagh. He studied, he trained at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art and has served as its president since 2015. Okay, he's very famous. It does not say that he is best known for Road to El Dorado, which is surprising to me. He's been in a lot of Shakespeare things, a lot of Shakespeare things. And that's actually kind of it. Also, Road to El Dorado, apparently. Good for him. What a fun, funky guy. What a man doing silly things. This isn't even including Road to El Dorado. Yeah, I thought you were going to go to IMDb. It seemed crazy to me that you clicked on Wikipedia. Sorry. Oh, he's got much more on IMDb. IMDB. He's doing a lot of things. It's all still Shakespeare. Alright, well, I still don't know him, but he's a really great Miguel, so that's good to know. What the fuck were we talking about? I don't know. Did you say where we're headed? Yeah. That's all, I guess. I am go really fast if you know that's fine. So we're getting pizza more. I've got House of Noodle. Yeah, people doesn't like Italian food. That's not true. You love to just lie. It's pretty true. If they had like a vegan cheese, I don't want to have the toots for not even my favorite kind of food. So instead I'll get no toots needed. Pad thai or just the normal same amount of toots, I suppose. Anyway, food from two different places because we just did our insemination and then we are goodbye. And then we're headed to my grandma's house to hang out with her. Uh, while we eat our little food because we don't want to eat inside of a restaurant. Um, just in general, but especially with two different foods, I feel silly. Pizza more, eh? We're the best food in the world. Pizza more, Pizza more. Can you hold Yep. Alright, we hung out with Graham for a moment. Graham and Gramps chatted with them. The same Graham who did the, the cute mural for with us. For literally like 20 minutes. Yeah, which is the shortest hang we've ever had with I Graham. Know. Well, if I talk on the phone with her some days and neither of us have anything to do, we'll just talk for like three full hours because of how cute she is. So, yeah. you know, you got to well, eat. We were like, we have to go pick up our grocery order so we can't. Because the grocery store is going to close. Yeah. So now we're heading to that. We got home from the store. We picked up our things. That was all great. We're now watching Lost. No, we're not. We're now watching House. I'm so tired. Don't be mean to me. I will be mean to you. No! We're watching House. And it is season 8, episode 7. And we finally got 
an episode where they offensively have someone who has dissociative identity disorder. Mm -hmm. How are they going to say she impregnated herself? I have no idea. How are we getting there? How? This isn't how any of this works. No, they certainly did not have a doctor on this show. They didn't have a doctor. They didn't have a sensitivity reader. They didn't have a single woman writing for them, I'm certain. No. Nobody who was gay. (laughs) Jesus fucking Christ. All right, it's a new day. We still have a medium amount to do before Kyle gets here tomorrow. Um, I have to put the sheets back on the bed. I'm washing our sheets now. Not because Kyle will be in them, because they needed to get done anyway. And I have unfortunately broken the news to Phoebe that um, Stream has known for like two weeks. <laughs> I would like to move the bed like a foot and a half to the left. So this is the setup now. It's Stream... Then a Mod Podge of projects, Phoebe's nightstand, the bed, my nightstand, my reading chair. I want to move everything to the left a little bit so that eventually I can put like an open shelving closet right here because I don't have one. And we also need to take the mattress off and flip it because as you can see, this is not Big Fig's fault. I'm not, I've not been using it correctly. <laughs> um, there's like a dent. You actually can't see it that much. Okay, as you can see, there's like a dent where I've been putting my ass to read before. It's because we need more slats as part of it. That is also part of it. It's because the bed is literally built incorrectly. But I've been scooting my ass back (laughs) and sitting up, which you're not supposed to do. It's just supposed to be a bed. (laughs) Um, And so there's like a little dent right here. So we're going to flip the mattress to where this is the head part now that I sit in my reading chair to read at night, which has helped my back tremendously. Hopefully they don't hire us anytime soon. Because then we'd need to have the tag showing. Well, no, because we'll put, we're putting the protector back on it, too, and the, the protector has the okay. thing on it. Help me move them. Oh, well, first, let's move all this. If there is one thing that I hate more than anything else in the world, it is having to move a mattress and to shift it around. Also, the bed was broken, so we had to, like, put some screws in it. It's a whole ordeal. Morgan loves to make me do work. She's a mean, mean, mean woman. I had to use power tools. We had to move a bed frame. This was a very difficult and trying time. Only for me, because I hated it. Morgan was very cute otherwise and did great. We're headed to Aurora and Canby, Oregon to go antiquing. Our friend Kyle's here, Bo's here, Mom's here, I'm here, Morgan's here. Is this the beginning of a new one? This is, I have no idea. I think it is. Oh no, because we started with Welcome to the continuation Welcome of the vlog. Welcome to the same <laughs> vlog. We're glad that you're here. Yeah, Please. I'm excited to see what we... I feel like all of our vlogs are antiquing, but here's what happens. is It's a fun thing to do where you don't have to spend that much money. Yeah. Because the fun part is looking at all the weird stuff. It's mm-hmm. it's honestly hard to spend a lot of money antiquing because everything is so fucking expensive, so you really have to justify it if you yeah. want to buy it. Yeah. And Unless you find... never you need an antique store. Well, except for $15. It's haunted. Right. Yes. Except for train with hands. Or yeah. train with hands. Which yeah. I need. Yeah, yeah. That was a need, so we're excited. These guys are scary. Why did someone make that? That's so much. Did you see Jean's chair? Yes! Oh my god. That's so funny. They have scary haunted girlies on their trash cans, which is fun. Two different places? Yeah, for both things. So oh, oh no, maybe this is the back of it. This is the, just kidding. I'm maybe I'm lying. I didn't see the front of this. I don't know. I don't know where we're going. I want one of these so bad. Why are they not making them Phoebe size? That's so cute. Oh, that's a friend. That's so cute. Oh, oh okay, hey, you be careful. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, is that Dumbo? Yes. Is it for real Dumbo? Okay, did you see? This is a hat. Okay, no. Who's the giant bear? Did you see Nikki back there? No. Oh my. She's so chic, so gay. I have no use for these friends with legs. Yeah, just but I love them. them.
absolutely love her. Why is she the cutest? Can you see their eyes? Their eyes? Okay, this guy, he's doing okay. This guy kind of looks like you when you're trying to look up. Wait, make <laughs> yeah. the same face as him. Hang on. Okay. That's amazing. <laughs> Okay, she's $68, so we'll not be purchasing. Can you see how big she is? She's huge. Hold her. Honestly, kind of a steal for $68, her. but we owe the IRS $8,000. we don't have anywhere to put her. If we literally had like a perfect place for her, I would say it's worth it. Oh yeah. But we don't. No, but she's so beautiful. I love her. Oh. I love him. Show me the piggy. $20. Oh, she's cutesy. Not as cute as the other ones. No. This man's ginormous. I'm obsessed with him. I love him. him. He's $180. What's it called? Like wax blow? Blow mold. Blow mold. Thank you. Oh my god. Yes, he does. I can't begin to imagine where these are from. They're definitely McDonald's cup, just like our Disney ones. Oh, Shrek Forever After. Yeah, there's an M inside. Oh my Shrek god. Shrek the Third. That's obs No, Shrek Forever After. This one's Shrek the Third. Oh, what? They did different ones? Yeah. Oh my god. Hello. We're in the car. Now it's Monday. We finished Enchanted Forest yesterday, obviously. But now, where are we going, Peehee? To Wonderland. It's a nickel arcade. Yeah. So we'll see if it's any good. It should be fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look out. We're in a haunted mine. Oh no! <laughs> this is incredible! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, here's our Wonderland haul. We got Smiley Squishy Toy Man. We got two fans. Amazing. We got four Wonderland pens total. Mm -hmm. And then um, also Disappearing Ink. Yeah, we don't know if it really disappears. We don't know. I feel like the, the eight year olds that will be babysitting are going to be very excited about it though. Yeah. I think that could be a fun adventure, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I have a disease where I just like you really love, I love to film in our neighborhood. I like hold up the camera while it's filming and it's like the street we live on and I'm like, I'm gonna throw myself into the ocean. Why am I like that? Anyway, this is a fun and normal angle for us where yeah. we look great. Um, I think the last thing we filmed was going to Wonderland with Kyle. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes so sense. Well, I don't even think we filmed a gay skate. No. But well, it was fun. you can't. Here's the problem: is that you can't film anything where there's any music in the background. I try to do like us in antique stores, and then if they're playing Elton John too loud, then YouTube's like demonetize, and I'm like, okay, not to be this bitch, but part of the reason I post it is on account of the monetization. You know what I'm saying? Right. So then they're like, we can take out that clip. And I'm like, okay, but then it's removed context from the unhinged things we found at the antique. Anyway, so really at Gay Skate, you cannot because the music's like. It's all music. It's a, oops, all music all the time. I mean, in theory, we, we can be smarter about it next time and like put other music on top. We just don't do that. That seems difficult to me. Right. <sighs> okay, we're having a hard day. We're having a really hard day. We took... I cried for like two hours last night. Okay, we so, both cried this morning. So Morgan took a negative pregnancy test yesterday, which would have been day 13. And then she took a negative one this morning, which would be day 14, like the end of the two-week wait. And I have said it here, and I'll say it again. Please, please, please do not comment or message us or reach out saying things like, Oh my God, I got my first positive on like day 18, like stick in there like you're gonna be fine yeah like, it's not it's not i think people think they're being helpful and and i'm happy for you i think the problem is that like i'm so tired want, of false hope right i don't want false hope no and like while that is possible if it's the case great but then we'll figure that out on day 18 when morgan still hasn't had a period yet right. and then we take a test and we're like oh holy shit which is totally cool but it's not helpful so please don't comment 
yes, but we love you. It's yes. not, and if you've ever commented it before, you're not shitty. And if you've ever sent a message saying it before, we don't think you're shitty. No, it's just that we get so many of them, and then we're like, well, maybe it's not the end. And then, like, it's yeah, just, it makes it worse. It's, it's, yeah, it's hard. And it's just, that's, you know, maybe other people would be like, feel better to know that. But for us, we're just not in that place right now. And previously, it kind of did make us feel better to know that. Me, at least. Right. I was no, like, I've oh. seen enough of them that I know it as a possibility. Yes. And so the possibility of that. It's not helpful to me. Right. So we've had we're having a hard day. We've got some shit to do at the house, um, and we have a couple of ads to film and other things. Uh, and now we're just running some errands, such as Trader Joe, um, Life Source for Morgan Supplements. Mm -hmm. um, they also have some like fun like vegan options there. Um, anything else? Where are we going? We're the going car wash. To, yeah, we have to get the car washed and vacuumed yes. because Phoebe rescued a dog last week. And right. So now the, our back seat is covered in fur. Y'all know Kenzie. His thing beeped. I did hear a beep. It was definitely him. Is he supposed to be headed somewhere? There's no way that we... No, there's not. No one sent him on an errand. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, he might be a support animal. He's no, not doing a very good job. No, Sorry, in that, buddy. In that case, I think that you, if you follow them, they'll lead you to where you're supposed to go. No, yeah, he was. But he was. Through. He ran inside oh, a grocery sorry. store. Look, yeah. he's just snuggling against me. He is very sweet. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, baby. She was so lovely. That was such a fun time. Um, oh. But yeah, literally, there's some slobber and some dog hair that needs to not be in our car anymore. Yeah. She She's also huge. is looking for stuff for their art shows. So we're going to St. Vinny's. Yes. And. Target. No. Well, it could be. Um, but anyway, yes, yeah, so we have some errands to run. It's 11 11 right now. Oh, make a wish. Um, and then we have a Skillshare um, sponsored oh, stream tonight. That's true. Yeah. So it's a big day. So that's, that's kind of fun. So, yeah. We are here at the car wash. I love the car wash. Morgan loves the car wash. I love it. We've been better about going, and it does make me feel better when our car is all my same thing, so. Oh. We okay. could sign up for their monthly thing, but we don't. It's a little raven here. Yeah. I've never seen one with flashy colors like this. Yeah, this is how it is at the car wash. Why, I love it. That's really fun. I've always liked these octopus tentacles. We got in trouble for vacuuming. Yeah, you can film it at a normal angle now. Oh, I guess that's true. Um, yeah, so this is the same place that I've been to twice now. And I like went through the car wash and vacuumed myself and like it wasn't busy, so it wasn't a big deal. And then, but both times it was after 5.30. And the other one that I went to was definitely before 5.30, but it was over on Lancaster because that's where I was. And anyway, so this time they came over after we'd been sitting there for like 30 minutes. <laughs> not being able to scooch close enough to a vacuum because so many people are in line. Yeah. Which is fine. Um, and then we finally scooched close enough to vacuum and we're vacuuming and like we're done. And the guy was like, oh, we don't do self-service vacuum here. And I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, not until after 5.30. And I was like, oh, yeah, I've definitely done it before, but I guess it was after 5.30. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, well, we're done. So can we just go? And he was like, yeah, no worries. And I was like, okay. That's so that weird. So weird. That's so, so weird. So you have to pay them hundred dollars I'm confused yeah that doesn't that doesn't make any fucking sense to me so yeah anyway I guess I'll just go to the one on Lancaster next time okay all right but anyway yeah super weird we acquired the turmeric gummies they're here uh they're mango flavored they're Morgan's favorite they are delicious they're fun uh people are always like do they actually help with inflammation I have no idea truly couldn't fucking tell you I don't know. they don't hurt no that's true, and like we are in a place of privilege where we can spend like twenty dollars every like month. two months or yeah. month or whatever to like get them. So like, great, you know. Um, it's supposed to help with PCOS. Do you feel less inflamed? I don't think so, but I don't know. It's hard to tell because I feel like the only thing that really bothers me is my knees, and that's not so much inflammation as it is that I should do my physical therapy. You should. So definitely something you should do. So yeah. I mean, you know, there's that. I will say that like Morgan's, you know, like her cycle has been like super, super regular, but that I think has much more to do with like the um, medication that you've been prescribed by a doctor right. as opposed to like <laughs> supplement type things. Um, but it can't hurt and we're just in a place where we're doing everything. So, you know, here we are. 
The Trader Joe's was incredible. They do have some of the ube stuff. Yeah. Shout out to Gracie, who is like so sweet and so lovely. Yeah, and also so someone else who's very cute. Yeah, someone else. I, think that they're being I love to go to the Trader Joe's because we always meet at least one gay person there who's like, oh, do I know you from the internet? And we're like, oh my God, sorry, we're so I weird. It's funny that you say that because the last few times that I've gone alone, no one has said anything to me. Oh, uh, that's fair. I, so feel like, I feel like I feel like it's like when we're together is when we're recognizable. That's Well, I think you're recognizable separately, but I think that people are also more afraid of you than they are of me because I have autism. And so although I really try not to make eye contact with people in case it's like someone from my hometown or that I went to high school with, I feel like I noticed people looking at us. So like there was a really cute sweet pea gay skate who was like looking at me like this. And I was like, oh my God, I love your like eye sparklies. And they were like, oh, thank you so much. And I was like, ah, cause I like knew that they were like too shy to like talk to us. And so after gay skate, Morgan was like, nobody recognized us, which seems kind of weird for gay skate. No, it's, I didn't say that. I said, you didn't nobody, say it like shitty. No, I said nobody like talked to us only, or I said only one person really talked to me. Yeah. Which yeah, I yeah, actually yeah. thought was like nice because like it was a very, it was a lot like, going we on at the gay skate. Like we were hanging out with Kyle. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you weren't, Morgan wasn't being like snotty about it, but no, I was like, no, no. there's definitely a couple people who are like big guys so please feel free to say hello to yeah. us we're always excited it's to say always hi. nice yeah it's, so sweet. it's very sweet especially when we're having a hard day it's like really sweet for people to be like oh, i love your content and it's like thank you thank you because life feels like a failure life feels really hard right now sometimes so thanks so much <laughs> so that was really good um got a shit ton of ube stuff because Bo really digs it Did you want to show the clean back seat oh yes we vacuumed the back seat okay well it kind of looks like shit well Okay, there was a lot of dog hair before. That's true. Well, you need to get it like professionally cleaned, which is only like a hundred dollars at the place we went to, which is fine. We yeah. just don't we don't have a hundred dollars to get the car cleaned right no. now. No, that's not the we, kind of money we have to spend. We also really need to buy like floor mats yes. really terribly. The problem is what I want before we have kids. Yeah, is those like all weather ones that are like expensive, but they literally last like. 20 fucking years. Yes, correct. And they're like molded to your car. Yeah. Because everyone I know who has them was like, they were expensive, but they're so worth it. They're so easy to clean. Yeah. I don't, I actually don't know why our car came without floor mats. No, it came with some. No, it didn't. No, not all, not all four. Oh, like it, it came, came with like with, one? Yeah, like two, either yeah. both the front ones or both the back ones. That's right. And then right. we eventually like either spilled something on it or yeah. in Florida. And we just were like, let's just get rid of it. We'll buy new ones eventually. Yeah, yeah, And you yeah. can buy cute ones on Etsy. Like people make ones that you can put like your monogram on or like oh. cinnamon roll ones or. That's kind of fun. I know, but I think the vibe that I want for my car is like, I want it to just look like a nice rich woman's car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's Until funny. I can afford a nice rich mom <laughs> car, I would like mine to just like look clean. It's the reason I want to get it detailed. Yeah. We have like a very small four door hatchback with yeah. absolutely no and I love fucking. Her cup holders i'm actually not that i mean it's the cup holders is the biggest problem i would say she's a toyota yaris which i'm not afraid to say i think it's fine there's a shit ton of yaris's yeah if you're looking for a good first car she's a perfect oh my god car. she's perfect the reason i we actually got a yaris is because my best friend has a 2007 yaris and ours is like a much newer yaris that we got from a, a hertz um that was like reselling like their cars that they used to like you know whatever have people rent um and she's just got so much better cup holder placement than we do yeah which she's, is crazy because hers is like oh my god it's so much old, older than yes us. and i'm like and why? we only have two cup show them the cup holder situation okay okay here's the cup holder situation we complain about it why it, this is here without which is pictures bad. and people are like oh did you know they make things that make your cup holders like and bigger? it's like you can't and that's not the problem it's this it's this and like the tallness and the fact that they can't sit next to each other so like as if we had if i had a medium right now as i'm lifting it up it's ripping the top off of morgan so she's more likely to not notice and like spill it and these are our only two cup holders the, well, we this, okay these are the only two usable cup holders there's also one here that is too wide but also, also not tall shallow. enough yeah. yeah to do anything productive don't look at how dirty the car we is we mostly use it for like a cup that for like someone a drink out of and we put trash in or like a giant um like a giant like water cup that's yeah. like really fucking heavy so it's not necessarily gonna fall over and if it does it's got like the top closed and then we have these side door ones that's like one but it's like the skinniest like it's just yeah, for like a, a water bottle water bottle that closes tragic it. so fucking tragic Thanks. cannot wait for morgan to do this deeply unhinged grocery haul no it's good we got good normal things hmm all the things we needed everything that was only it was all in need it was all in need this is the grocery haul. It's not that much. But we got some ube stuff from Trader Joe's, which I'm excited about. I got more almond croissants because I'm in my almond croissant phase. 
the stuffed gnocchi. It's so good. It's so good. We went through a stuffed gnocchi like phase a while ago, and now we're back in it. We also needed eggs, so I got Trader Joe eggs for the first time ever. I'm now realizing I never opened them to make sure they weren't like cracked, but they look fine. I'm on a new vanilla meringue kick. Um, I've also been wanting apple juice, so we got apple juice. Oat milk, I got some matcha, I got some grapes, which I'm very excited about. Grapes, the new fruit roll up. Uh -oh. um, meat sticks, that? yeah. That's okay. That's meat fine. sticks, cheese. We got some crunchy curls, which I've never tried, but I'm excited about that. And Phoebe got some ginger chews. Oh, and I got flowers, obviously, because that's the whole reason I go to Trader Joe's. And that is it. Hello, it's me, Later Phoebe. I've been spending some time dismembering clocks so that I can put uh, punch needle stuff in them. That's been very exciting. This was $20. Um, it was messed up. I'm not a clock maker, and I feel like maybe people are going to have feelings about me taking all the clock pieces out of this. But, it, like, there are so many clocks at thrift stores. Like, this is, like one of a million that I have found recently. Um, and they are just wood now. And I'm sorry to the clock maker who did something cool with this originally. I looked it up. It looks like it would be worth like $500 if it uh, like actually worked, but it doesn't. There are like some weird parts of it that were messed up. And so I don't know what I'm gonna do with his clock innards. I don't know if there's a thing I can do with them. I feel like if someone was like a jewelry maker, they could do really cool shit with them. Um, but yeah, so there's this guy. This is my finished unhinged clock project. Very happy and excited about. And then this one, and then this one's shy, but this one I got from Sunny's house. Uh, Lemon had a clock that they were planning on doing something artsy with, and they were like, I've just had it, so if you want it, you can have it to put punch needle things in. So this one hasn't been dismembered yet, but I'm very, very excited about it. And then additionally, I have this clock, which looks a little bit like a guillotine. And then you realize that it does this, and then it really looks like a guillotine, which is fun. So that's the end of the vlog. Morgan is cleaning the house right now because we've restarted the cycle of living in a house and having care tasks that need to be done on a regular basis. And I have been frantically working on my art show, which I'm very, 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 very excited about. Um, so I've just been punch needling and screaming. And it's been good. Okay, have a good day. Love you. Bye.